All right, so we've got something exciting to show you this evening. Um, we've got a stack of cards here that we've had in our collection for quite a while. These are 1960 Tops autographed baseball cards, cards that we've either purchased online, guys that we've met from private signings at card shows, or, um, or autographs that we've obtained through the mail. So we're going to show you these 60 cards. Um, these are duplicates for ones that are already in our own personal collection. So what we do when we get a duplicate, we, we put the card in a penny sleeve, and then we put it in a semi-rigid holder, and then we put it in a box. So we're going to show you, without any further ado, let's show you what we've got here. These are 1960 Tops autographed baseball cards. The first one here is Ernie Brolio, signed in blue Sharpie. Very nice card. We met him at a signing out in California. Next one is Elroy Face. This was signed in 2009 at a card show down in St. Louis. I try and pick the nicest cards I can for my collection. Um, sometimes if I buy them online, you know, I'll take whatever I can get um, if I don't have it. But the uh, signature in blue Sharpie is my favorite. Next one here is Roy Sievers, recently passed away. He was a great man, great signer. Card looks very nice. Next one here, former Cub Earl Averill Jr. His dad, Earl Averill Sr., was in the Hall of Fame. And if I think I got enough room here, I'm going to do one more deep. Um, this one's signed by a pitching legend, 1955 Brooklyn Dodgers, former San Francisco Giants manager, Roger Craig, 84 San Francisco Giants. Next one here, we did a private signing with this guy out in uh, Virginia. We went out there, um, I believe it was Virginia, Virginia Beach area. Hink Foils, nice little blue Sharpie signature. This next one, um, I wrote this guy a letter before he passed away. Frank Larry, nice looking card, signed in blue Sharpie. This next one, I believe I purchased online, but we did meet him a couple different times over the years, up in shows in Milwaukee, Carlton Willie. Signed in blue ballpoint. Next one here, former Washington Senators second baseman, Ken Aspermonte. These cards are pretty cool. They got the uh, you know close-up shot and they got a little bit more of an action shot there to the right. Um, next one here is um, signed by a deceased pitcher, Tom Borland, 1960 rookie star. Next one here, um, paid him to sign a few things for us. Up in... Uh, Wisconsin, 1960 rookie star Bob Hartman. Next one here, a guy that recently passed away, another 1960 rookie star, San Francisco Giants pitcher Julio Navarro. That's Jamie Navarro's dad. Navarro, of course, Jamie pitched for the Milwaukee Brewers. Next one here, um, it's got a little paper loss at the top in the middle, but it's still a nice card, signed in ballpoint by a guy named Ray Narleski. Next one here, I think this guy passed away. Pitcher for the Kansas City Athletics, Johnny Cooks. Signed nicely in blue Sharpie. This next guy, we did uh, paid him to sign a few things for us out in Overland Park, Kansas once. Fred Kipp, pitcher for the Dodgers. This next guy has done a lot of shows, done a lot of signings. He's been around a lot of places. Pitching coach for lots of teams, Claude Osteen. This next guy passed away here, but it's a nice looking card. Frank Malzone. Next one, very nice, very nice card. Beautiful, nice four corners, nice color, nice gloss, nice centering. Turk Lone, L O W N. Next one was a regular down at shows down in St. Louis. Um, member of some world champion teams, Ray Sadecki. He's since passed away. Another nicely signed in blue Sharpie. Next one, Washington Center's pitcher, Ted the Angler Abernathy. Nice looking card. Um, J.C. Martin, White Sox. Nicely signed in blue Sharpie. Billy Heft. Met him a couple different times. At least one different time. Bud Byerly. Pitched for a long time. Recently passed away. Frank House. Pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds. These cards look so dang cool when they're lined up like this. Next one, um, this guy was um, was related to a lady I used to sell some stuff to. Um, some snowblowers, Billy Claus. Passed away. Ed Bailey, catcher for the Reds. Passed away. The Hammond Hummer from Hammond, Indiana. Bob Anderson, pitcher for the Chicago Cubs, nicely signed. 
Don Mossy. A lot of people will like this one. You notice his big ears. Next pitcher, member of, uh, I think he played on a world champion uh, Cardinals team somewhere along the line. Hal Woodishek, Senators pitcher. This guy was a great guy. He, had, he wrote a book, which he sold um, through the mail. Did purchase a couple of those. Ned Garver, Kansas City Athletics pitcher. Nice looking signature, nice guy. We're down to our last three cards here. Um, that we're going to show you, signed in 1960 cards. Um, guy just passed away not too long ago, Al Dark, Philadelphia Phillies. This next one, this guy's a legend, 55 Rookie of the Year, member of the 61 World Champion Pittsburgh Pirates, Billy Verdon, also a manager of the Montreal Expos. And the last guy we have here, did a private signing with him up in Minnesota, Cleveland Indians pitcher, Dick Stigman. Wow, these are signed in blue sharpie, which is what I prefer. You know, we do have a couple ball points here. Willie Narleski. Um, the rest of them, if I can, man, I'm, I'm going to try and get this stuff signed in blue sharpie. Got a black one here. Tom Borland. Beggars can't be choosers. You know, when you're, when you're trying to get the set signed, you take what you can get. Nice looking cards. 1960 Tops baseball card collection signed. Um, we just like to ask you to give us a thumbs up to subscribe to our channel. Keep collecting. God bless.